podcast. So it's Friday afternoon. I wasn't really vlogging much today so far because I haven't been doing anything. Um, mostly I got home from work, uh, did a little bit of editing, and just has been relaxing, honestly. Because even though I didn't work that much most of the week, I did get a lot done. I'm just tired. I just needed to relax a little bit, so... Now, unfortunately, I have a non-relaxing situation happening. Well, first of all, I'm headed to the UPS store. I already had that in mind. I was also going to hit up a couple of Walgreens and Target to see if I could find uh, any more Zeo Rangers. If you remember yesterday's review. But somebody just asked me if I find another Red Ranger, if I grab it for him. So I was like, okay. So... Basically, that's what I'm up to. But right now, I'm headed to Miss Shoki's office to get her cell phone, which I've decided it no longer wants to be a cell phone. It wants to be a useless brick with a battery in it. Um, it's probably something stupid, simple. Like it says, the SIM card uh, needs to be reinstalled or whatever. So I'm assuming that one too many times it's been dropped. Including this morning, uh, um, actually, I knocked it off the table because the uh, incredibly long charging cable she uses was laying on the ground, and you know, being in a dark room, didn't see it. It got snugged on my foot, and I tripped on it and it fell and hit the floor. So maybe that was the last straw. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go get it, take it to the st Sprint store, see if they can fix it. Hopefully it's like a five second fix, you know, just pop the back off and reinstall the SIM card. Um, nothing major, hopefully it doesn't cost anything. That's really can't afford, you know, a couple hundred dollar anything right now. Let alone how to replace a phone. I know I'm gonna, oh, thanks for just cutting right in front of me there, dude. Um, I'm going to need a new phone sometime soon. I've had this one going on two years, which means it's about dead. <laughs> it's not even that old. I mean, it's, a, it's an S6. I mean, it was the 7 was pretty much brand new whenever I got this. And, of course, they're on the 8 now. So, I mean, I, I don't need the newest and best and shiniest. I probably myself will just upgrade to a 7 um, when I get there. Even though I know the 8 has, like, fantastic cameras and everything like that. Which, yo, know, would be great. I'm not going to lie. I just don't need it. I don't need the wraparound screen, which is not even a choice anymore. It just always has the full edge all the time. But really hoping that it's an easy fix. And like I said, it won't cost me 100 bucks to get it. Miss Corvette. Well, speaking of Corvettes, there was like a... This morning at work, there were these huge tires. I should have got a, a shot of it. It came through. They were 24-inch tires, super low profile, and they were 405 in size. That's the width. 405, I believe that's actually um, centimeters. Or maybe it's millimeters. I think it's centimeters. But either way... Um, it might be. Either way. Doesn't matter. I should know these things. I used to work in tires. So, anyways. Huge tires. And everybody's all like, yeah, those are probably for a Corvette. And I'm like, no. Not even modern Corvettes have tires that wide. This is for some ridiculous custom jobby. And, yeah. I was like, I, I just placed my bets. I'm like, I bet it's going on a really slammed lower truck. Slammed and lower would be the same thing. But yeah, huge freaking tires. Ah, uh, school zone. My ancient enemy. But yeah, I'm just trying to get to here. Going to go get her phone. Because even if she turns it on, turns it off again, it just keeps giving the same message. I basically want somebody to reinstall the SIM card. I mean, if it's as simple as popping the back off and just going, Dook, then okay, I can do that. But I don't know if I can and I don't know if I should. It's under warranty. We have protection services or whatever it's called. So that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> Not exactly how I wanted to spend my day. But I mean, what's one more errand when I'm already out? You know. 
and yeah, I got a little mad at her, not because her phone is acting up, but because of her reaction to what needed to be done, and I'm like, we'll take it to the store, we'll get it fixed, she's like, but I need my phone, and I'm like, well, you don't have your phone, and it's not an easy fix, you have to take it to go get fixed, it's like your car breaking down, why is there, oh, that's not good, there's a fire truck and ambulance at the high school here, I think good. But yeah, it's always like, I'm, I'm not, it's like I'm sitting here yelling, and I'm not yelling at her because I'm mad at the fact that her phone is messed up. I'm mad that she thinks that, I don't know what she thinks. I don't know what she wanted. I'm like, look, this is the only option. You don't have another one. I can do it now, and it might be ready by the time you get off work, or we're going to wait till we're off work, and you may not have it all weekend. What do you want? <laughs> it's like, we got to go get it done. It's the middle of the afternoon. I got plenty of time. You know, hopefully it's an easy fix. Oh, that's a bumpy ride. But I'm gonna pop in here and go do that. And go about my other chores. Yay. Reba McIntyre as Colonel Sanders. Yeah, that's a thing now. All right, guys. So, uh, partial mission success, uh, got, uh, the wifey's phone repaired, um, well, repair to be an operative term, it's working again, um, hopefully it'll be fine, she probably needs to go ahead and delete a whole bunch of crap on it, and maybe not drop it ever again, um, they reset the connections and everything, wow, look at the suspension on that guy's truck, um, but I gotta get this back to her, I have had no success finding anything I was looking for so far, however, at Target, I found Leader Class Rodimus Prime, and I was this close to buying it. I got a lot of other things I need to buy right now um, that are above that. I mean, I really kind of want it because I've never had a hot rod, a proper kind of hot rod, and I'm not considering the Titan Return version at all. I think it sucks. Um, if it was Optimus, odds are I would have picked it up. It's Rodimus, I'm, I'm on the, you know, it's just, it's cool, but I almost wish it was like the $35 range. I mean, I know it's a leader class, and it's big. That's the other thing, it is a big figure. So, I mean, like, I was so close. I mean, I'll probably still pick one up eventually, but I may get it from uh, BBTS, or just wait till the, the actual hype dies down a little bit. Um, but the Sola Chagokin Dragonzord, was put up for pre-order this morning, and I mean the Dragon Sword, not Dragon Caesar. So I was I was thinking about ordering the Dragon Caesar just to get it earlier, but I kind of want my boxes to match, so I might just wait. And plus it's in August, that'll give me time to save some money um, instead of just you know throwing it on the credit card like I did last year. The Mega Sword was so much more expensive than the Dragon Sword, and I get that it's only one thing instead of five things. But it's easily as big and should be almost as heavy. Uh, presumably, there's plenty of die cast in it, so it's it's. I wouldn't say it's like half the price, but it's close to half the price. Um, but I gotta pick that up eventually. It's just so pretty. It looks so good. But um, right now, I'm still on the hunt for Red Zio Rangers for those guys. Like somebody else is like, hey, I need two if you find them. Guys, chill. I mean, I found one, which means there were probably a few, and somebody just left one. Um, and that was for me, you know? <laughs> it's like, if I find anything else, I'll let these guys know, but holy crap, guys, chill. Now, if I find the Black Ranger, if I, if I find Black Dino Thunder, mine. Sorry. If that one is as good as, as they say it is, like it's actually painted well, See, the one thing I found, I pointed out yesterday with the Red Ranger, they got the chest and everything painted, and that looks good, but then all the cuffs and everything are the same velvety cheese color. It's, I, I think it has to do with the soft plastic. But then again, they paint on the weapons. But they didn't paint the Megazord, because the arms are velvety cheese just looking at it, the Build-A-Figure, which is the first Build-A-Figure I've gotten, which means that's why I have to get all of them. I want, I want it all. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I, 
was at Target. I did actually, I made it to Target. They had redone all of their toy aisles, which was really confusing because I couldn't figure out where anything was. They did have the Mega Bloks, um, Blast Toys. That closed pulling the trigger on. I'm going to get it. But I look at it, I'm like, okay, last time we looked, went to the store, they had the Wave 3s of the small ones. They have the Wave 4s out now. I'm like, what the hell? Like, they're cranking these waves out faster than people can buy them. Like, I'm, I'm grateful, but damn. Even at $6 a pop, you know, this is a lot. I never even got all the Wave 1s and the Wave 2s. I mean, started on the Wave 2s. So, I mean, damn. I'm going to pop into this Walgreens, see if there's anything, and i got to get my shook here filmed back. And then we might end up having to go down into Houston to drop off some supplies for a patient of hers um, because there's nobody around. Just more stuff. We're supposed to have a date night tonight. And something I'm starting to realize, the Red Ranger is in the wave after the Gold Ranger. But the Green and Blue Ranger, I believe it is, we're in that same wave. I have never seen those figures. So, starting to think I'm on, I'm a wave behind on this. And considering I've never seen them as often as I go to Walgreens, that means either somebody's grabbing all of them when they find them, or they're just not getting them. Or maybe they're in the back. One thing I've never done is just ask to see the stuff in the back. Now, Target only had the same two figures. They had the pink in space and the yellow original. Or actually that's backwards. It was the yellow in space and the pink, original pink ranger. But the build a figure, not the special editions. Now see the funny thing is if I switch that they have the uh blue in space figure so at uh my normal Walgreens. So I'm gonna get her our phone back, please still be working. It's still working. She gets all kinds of weird stuff. You know? It's like, I'm never one to go through her phone. She's never one to go through my phone. She has access. Even though my, my uh, phone is locked, she has, she has access. Same thing on hers. We trust each other. She can get into my computer if she needs to, stuff like that. But she's got some weird apps. She's got like all kinds of news apps, all kinds of other stuff I just don't care about. I hate getting notifications for things. <laughs> Car's running a little bit warm. check one more Walgreens on my way home. I guess I could drive out and go check the other one. I got nothing better to do. I really don't. That's a sad thing. I mean, I've got I've got some editing I can do, but I can do that all night. Like I said, we got date night. I can edit when I, when I get home. I'm kind of tired of editing. I've been editing a lot of things lately. And I've got, I've essentially got, no, actually, I take that back. I do not have next week taken care of. Um, Damn, I just thought about that. So I need, I've got my quickies done. I've got Master Grade Monday done, like stupid early. Um, so I need, I guess I have one review already ready to go. I just need to edit it and upload it. Get that up for at least Wednesday. Then I can do an unboxing next week. I guess talk about, I can do the, uh, I guess I could do Hoshmall. They'll give me a week to get it knocked out. Something like that. I don't know. I need to get a whole bunch more Master Grades done at some point. I don't know how or when. I keep thinking there's got to be other Master Grades I've yet to look at in my collection. I'm going to have to look again. I mean, I know there's plenty of kits I've never looked at, but i got to see if my others are Master Grade that I haven't looked at. obviously the two that I've done in the last two weeks were some of the last ones but I feel like there's got to be something else I've never reviewed alright I'm going to go drop her phone off here in the office 
go ahead a couple log dances. Turn that off. <sighs> yep, it's just gonna be a drive around thing. Does say I mentioned I ran into Derek while as a target? I don't think I mentioned that. Um, he was one of my winners, but he's also in the the Houston and the Texas Gunplug Club or Gundam Clubs. So he comes out to the meets and stuff like that. And he was one of the winners at the Grand Prix, but I never got a chance to look at one of his things or his uh, his build. He took it home already. Um, actually, I think he won Best in Show. Or maybe it was just Best in His. Class. Either way, he's a good builder. I was talking to him briefly. We were talking toys. And then I was asking him because he, he got an airbrush from the club presidency. That uh, I was asking him if he got a chance to use it yet because he's had it for a couple months now. He got it back before Christmas. And he's like, no, not really. I was like, I'm kind of scared to use it. And I was. It got interrupted, but, you know, I, thought, I was going to tell him, I was like, look, I've got a couple old kits we can probably practice on if you really want to learn how to use it. He actually lives here in town near me. Um, so I'm trying to get him. He, he's very uh, quiet. He's a quiet dude. He's a cool dude. He's just kind of quiet. Nothing wrong with that. I used to be very quiet. And now I'm on YouTube daily. <laughs> When an introvert becomes an extrovert, they don't know how to shut up. <laughs> uh, geez. But I have a feeling that if YouTube existed when I was younger, I definitely would be doing the same thing. Maybe not reviewing stuff, but I would have definitely made the channel, if not vlogging, maybe a creative channel, stuff like that. It probably would have made some different decisions with my life. But hey, the internet was barely a thing. Whenever I was in school growing up. Because I remember when we very first got dial up out at my parents' house. You know, and it's it's not super country by any means, but it's it's way away from a major city. You know, so the fact that we had old school dial up out there and we had America online, that was our main thing. When I got my first email. And oddly enough, like, I didn't have, I think I started my first email, like, official outside my, my uh, Yahoo. Actually, I mean, the Yahoo I got wasn't until, like, my freshman year of college. I was using AOL up until then. But I needed uh, access from other things. <laughs> oh, God. The good old days of the Internet. And now I virtually live on it. This interconnected world we all have. Ain't it great, y'all? I guess. It gives people like me somewhere to talk to themselves, I guess. Because I've been talking to myself regardless. This time, this way, you guys get to hear it all. Well, you get to hear a lot of it. I can't record at work, or I would. <laughs> like, the whole uh, idea I had yesterday, which I actually did not get a chance to write down for the, for the ads that I want to do. Um, the the two reviews I did yesterday took way longer than expected, so I actually did not get a chance to write that, to get that stuff right now. Um, but anyways, the, the idea, I came up with that idea while I was working. Because my job, honestly, doesn't take a whole lot of attention. And it sounds ridiculous, but, but I've been professionally driving a vehicle pretty much my entire life at this point. More than half my life I have been driving a vehicle as a job. And I need to not be in this lane. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. That's really confusing. That was a turn only lane. That is now a straight only lane. However, the arrows are not completely uh, changed. That's very, very confusing. But anyways, um, being that, you know, at the age of, ripe old age of 17, I was delivering pizza. I guess technically 18, you had to be 18 to drive. 
So since I was 18, which is essentially half my life at this point, um, I've been driving a, a vehicle to do a job. <laughs> and I've almost never stopped. So driving is second nature to me. That just I just do that. That doesn't that's that just happens no matter what I'm doing. So yeah, you know, while I'm at work driving the big old truck, I'm not saying I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, but the driving aspect of it doesn't necessarily require my attention, just the finding of addresses. So my mind is free to wander and come up with stuff like silly advertisements for things and stuff like that and YouTube channels and coming up with just all kinds of ridiculous things. I have an overactive imagination. Always have been. Maybe it comes from being an only child. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm headed to the second Walgreens, which is like the main one in town. By that I mean it's literally in the center of town. Because I told you guys before, there are three Walgreens and um, actually technically four four Walgreens in very close driving distance to where I live. So I tend to make the rounds every now and then. But now that I'm looking for something very specific, yeah, might as well. I t and I hit that other one last week on my way to my parents' house. Maybe that was Monday. But yeah, things have changed, so let's see. I'll head out there again, double check. Never know what you might find. And I have all the Nintendo figures I've been looking for. And I've been on eBay and Amazon trying to get the ex other, the latest wave of Nintendo figures. And man, people still want tons of money. Like, these waves clearly haven't made it everywhere, or more people would have them. But, like, the individual figures that I'm looking for, because I need almost the entire wave, uh, most of the ones are, like, minimum $10 for a $5 figure. $25, $30 for the quote-unquote rare ones. It's, it's just insane. All right, I'm popping to the Walgreens. And they did have two Gold Rangers. And a pink in Space Ranger. So realistically, if I was collecting the in Space Rangers, I would have three of them right now. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, so <laughs> maybe I should start, even though I doubt I could ever find the uh, green or red. So let me go run out to this last Walgreens. Like I said, it's not that far out of the way. Toy hunting can be fun. Most of the time, it's frustrating. See, the dumb thing is that between Walgreens and Target, they're getting all the new kind of legacy stuff. Whereas Toys R Us, not so much. And the funny thing is, there's no new legacy Zords. Not in the way we've been getting them. No new legacy Megazord. So why has the legacy Shogun not come out yet? The... Ninja Zord was last year, or Ninja Megazord. I know it wasn't, it was the year before. Ah, crap, train. So, we've got no new Ninja Megazord, or no new Ninja Shogun Zord. Mega Shogun, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. And, we're getting these new Legacy Zords that don't combine or anything. Sticking with Mighty Morphin. Seriously, pick another. <laughs> pick something else. You now we got these Legacy helmets, the little bitty ones, not the big ones. Although the Legacy Green is supposed to come out, even though it's supposed to be P Bandai. See about that. None of the other Legacy helmets. This is ridiculous. Kind of like my hair. It's like Bandai doesn't really know what their customers want, what collectors really want, so, it's like, you start a series, but you don't ever finish it, like, the Shogun Megazord should have been, like, boom, as soon as the Ninja was sold out, we're working on that, and it's like, we're, I don't think there's anything in sight for now, and I really don't like the new Legacy packaging, to be honest, they're, they're focusing on Super Ninja Steel, which, from what I've heard is a flop so far. Ninja Steel was a flop. The toys sold like crazy at first, but then they're gone, so it doesn't matter. 
but the, nothing about it, this thing is anywhere near as good as Shura Kinger. <clears throat> so I think we're all just hoping that this series is a little bit better and just will fade out and we'll get something good. Which, it better be Q-Ranger. Q-Ranger's awesome, but they better do it right. But I think for now I'm going to turn the camera off and put on some YouTubes. So it's, at this point I'm sitting behind a very long train. Got her some chocolate and flowers and rented it. So even if we go out to dinner tonight and come home, watch a movie. She's been wanting to see it since it was in theaters. I'm not too keen on it, but I'll watch it anyways. <sighs> Time to go home, get this set up, clean up a little bit, and go back to editing, get some work done before she gets home. I might need to go ahead and do an unboxing. Hmm. And yeah, maybe I'll do, instead of Hoshmo, I'll go ahead and knock out another IBO Gundam. I don't know. Let's see.